Hello and welcome back to Partimeter where today we are going to be trying our hand at some halloumi fries. Now halloumi is a brined often sheep's or goat's milk cheese which has a very high melting point so you can grill it and fry it and it still hold its shape. It tastes beautiful although you won't be able to have much of it because it's quite salty what with it being brined and everything. Anyway we're going to start cutting it into shapes that resemble chips and try to keep them as even and consistent as possible. Once that's done just grab a paper towel and remove the excess moisture. This is going to help the batter stick and be safer in the fryer. Start building your dry butter by adding in some corn flour and plain flour, about two parts plain and one part corn flour. Then we're going to go in with some fine salt, pepper and I've got some cayenne pepper here as well, some dry razzle hanout and some harissa seasoning. Then a healthy amount of dry oregano and a small pinch of dry mint. This Middle Eastern medley is amazing when it comes to halloumi. Then just make sure you give everything a good thorough mix. Just roll the what would be fries into the batter making sure every crevice is carefully covered. Be sure to shake off the excess batter. Bring your oil up to 180 degrees celsius and drop them in and this is what you want to hear. Leave the fries in for a couple of minutes and make sure you flip them around for even colouring. And let the fries rest on some parchment paper. They almost resemble mozzarella sticks but the texture is very different. Anyway I'm going to make a quick dip with some garlic and whole mayonnaise and some lemon juice and then just mirroring the spices of the butter so again with some rosal hanout and a dash of harissa, some dry oregano and some cayenne pepper and then we're just going to give it a good mix through. It's just a very simple dip. Now these are truly delicious and I reckon they'd be great as a chip sandwich but an amazing starter course and I think enough to convince people you might just actually be able to cook. Well, it worked for me anyway. Just do me a favour and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment and let me know what you want me to try next. And please check out my Patreon page, I've left a link down below. Happy cooking.